Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be doing full face makeup. When I say full face, it's not gonna be as like heavy as I used to do it before, but we're gonna start with the Milk Pro or Milk Hydro Primer. I already put my skincare routine on, so that usually consists of a toner, vitamin C, and um, sunscreen. And the sunscreen doubles as a moisturizer already, so I'm gonna put this thing all over. It's actually been a long time since <laughs> I used anything but the, what are these called? The Merit Beauty Complexion Sticks. It's been a while. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on and then I'm gonna put my hair up and we're just gonna do this all in one go. But I'm gonna be using the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint for my main base. I'm gonna let that primer kind of dry a little bit. And while that does that, I think I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wax. If only I can find my thing for it. Okay, so we're going for a really clean, natural makeup look today. It's gonna to take a little bit longer than my usual, but that's okay. We have, we got extra time today. This morning I actually went on my daily walk, but I mixed it up with some running slash sprinting. So, because that is part of my 2022 goals is to walk every day. But today it was just like really nice and sunny. There's not a lot of clouds in the sky. And for some reason my body was like, let's, let's run. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush those up and out of my face. My face feels a little bit grippy, tacky from the primer. So let's start with the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This is in shade Kokini. It's number 12. <clears throat> and this is more of my like winter shade. It is winter right now. I just do maybe whoop, five drops should be enough i'm going to take a foundation brush and put that all over my skin specifically in this area right here and it yeah this is my perfect shade right now if it was summertime i would definitely have to go darker um i don't know if anybody else experiences that especially people of color it really is like I have different shades throughout the whole entire year. Oh my goodness, you're falling very quickly. But um, yeah, throughout the whole entire year, it's like constantly changing. I have like three to four different shades of foundation depending on what time of the year it is. But a little fun fact about me, a little fun fact. Okay. This is my first time using the Hydro Primer and this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint together. And usually I won't have anything. I'll just use like the skin tint on its own and it's a lot more easy to spread around, but it's so, I don't wanna say oily because I don't really know exactly what the formulation is of this, but it, it's more slippery. But this time around, I can feel that I need to kinda tug it a little bit more because it's staying in place almost immediately. And I like that because this um, formulation is pretty slippery. <laughs> okay. I think I covered all those areas. And then we're gonna go in with the under eye concealer. We're gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't like going heavy with this. <clears throat> mainly because it's going to take a longer time for me to blend it out. And with the, sh with the shame, with the same foundation brush, I'm going to kind of dot it around. And pull it up. Okay, so another part of my 2022 goals is reading, right? I want to read at least 12 books this year. I'm on book number three. So... I think I'm just going through a major binging 
um, phase because that's how I've always been whenever it comes to books is like if especially if it's a really good series I'll just want to read it all and I'll finish maybe like a three three book series in the span of one to two weeks because it's just like I need to scratch that itch I need to know what's happening which is another reason why if I'm reading a book or if I want to read a book that's part of a series but not all of the series are out yet I I just won't read it especially if I know that it has like really really good reviews because I know like once I stop reading it um one I'm either gonna forget it or it's, I'm just gonna be so bothered that I don't know what happens next you know and I can't wait another year or two before the author re releases the next book because at that time I'm already gonna be on to my next series and kind of forget all about it so I have to wait I have to wait so I took the milk hydro primer you have to shake this um, the reason why it's blue is because of the blue agave nectar or algae that's what it is and that's what gives it it's really cool tackiness so I'm only using my phone I have a mirror here what am I doing but that's what I'm using to refer to this and to set this I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder if I can fish it out of here okay here it is and then I'm going to take a smaller brush that I can concentrate right underneath my eyes and get all the way here but the next book that I'm reading is called Neon Gods it was on Goods Goodreads like recommended books for 2021 and the one that I just finished is She Who Became the Sun by I think Shelley Parker Chan is her name that one was pretty good that was a good read but the Neon Gods one is a take on Persephone and Hades what if you guys like Greek mythology you already know like that's probably one of the <sighs> It could easily be one of those relationship where it's like bad boy and I don't know. I'm not always into those types of books, but I figured why not try <laughs> and read it anyways. So I'm going over, I have acne scars on both of my cheeks and this product really helps blur it <clears throat> and set it. So I'm going to focus it just under here and here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is get my Merit Beauty Stick. This is going to be a shade cacao and that's what I'm going to use to kind of bronze up my face. I've been loving this product. It's really easy to blend and it gives me the right amount of like, oops, it just gives me the right amount of like warmth to my face. And then I'm going to take the Merit Beauty brush number one and then see how easy that is to blend out even here i'm gonna i'm gonna tap it instead of like rubbing it back and forth that way i'm not moving a lot of product around and if anything i'll try flicking it up rather than down super easy to blend okay and then we're just gonna continue Oh my god, I gave myself a little mole. And yes, this is a birthmark. When I was growing up, there was somebody that was like, you have dirt on your face. And I'm like, that's my birthmark, please. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> um, I also like taking whatever leftover is on my brush to kind of pronounce my chin. Because when I make certain expressions, it's just, I don't know, I love my chin. Okay, and then same thing here. Pushing it a little bit upwards here okay that's not fully blended out but let's just play around with what i got so far i've been taking my daily ginger shots if you've seen my other videos you know that like i've just been obsessed with making them for people um so i made some for my boyfriend the other day because he was potentially exposed to covid and i was like you know what i know something that will make you feel better ginger shots okay those should be blended out the best that I can see, at least on my phone. And then to kind of set those, I'm going to use the MAC. 
mineralized skin finish. And I'm going to take my broken, I don't know what this is, an angled fluffy brush. And then with the same thing, I'm not going to be swiping as much, but I'm going to be tapping the product in. Tap, tap, tap in. And that gives me a really nice bronzing look to my face. Under here, here, and then I do like kind of getting all over my face eventually. And then kind of tilting it upwards. Okay. The sides of my nose, I don't really contour my nose or try to pronounce it in any way. It just It's just kind of there. Okay. My chin is the one, interestingly enough, my chin is the one that I would rather pronounce than my nose. All right, next thing is blush. So we're gonna do the NARS Orgasm. This is a sample that I got from my sister because she wasn't gonna use it. And I was like, mm, I remember when this was like a cult favorite back in the day, so why don't I just try it? At first I didn't notice anything I was like, oh, this isn't going to stick out on my skin, but maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but in person it's very subtle, like something's there, but you can't quite put your finger on it. So it's just the perfect shade, I think, for, for my skin. I'm not trying to go and like pronounce it too much, but it kind of helps add a little bit of color back but it's not like this really deep, deep red or something. Okay, and then I just put those in the random areas. The next thing I'm gonna do is my lips. So we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip. This is the Lip, che lip Cheat in shade Hot Gossip. And I'm not overlining my lips, but just giving them a nice definition to it. Okay. Cool. Supernatural. I like the way this looks. And then over that, let's use the shade Stoned Rose. Stoned Rose is also from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's freaking just one of my favorites. Look at it. Oh, did I just, whatever. I didn't realize I was gonna fall in love with Charlotte Tilbury's lip products as much as I did, but I truly, truly love it. Okay, next thing that we're gonna do, and we're almost done, is our eyeliner. So this is the MAC Cole, eye, or Eye Cole Crayon, and this is in shade Teddy. I could have used a black one, but this is the first one that I saw, the <laughs> first one that I grabbed. And then we're just gonna put it all just on the upper line here. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is curl my lashes and use the Better Than Sex and Perversion Mascara. So let's curl these lashes up. I've been using the Better Than Sex mascara for a couple, for, I want to say it's been about a year actually with this small one because I don't always use the same one over and over again, but I didn't realize I was going to love it as much as I did either because usually mascara to me is like they all do the same thing. There's nothing that really wows me about them, but this one I can really see a little bit of a difference. And I have very small, tiny Asian lashes. Okay. And this one I feel like it's lightweight enough where it doesn't just immediately fall. Okay. Boom. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit while that's drying. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Brow, Precisely Brow pencil and I'm not trying to like reshape it or anything I'm just filling in areas that might be a little bit more um, sparse and then 
and then in here, just really natural pen strokes. All right, and then second coat of mascara with the Urban Decay Perversion. And then I'm just gonna run it back and forth and this is basically it. Oh man, I really effed up there, huh? Whatever, I'll clean it. Okay. I like adding a little bit of gloss to my lip. So this is the Laneige Lip Balm, Glowy Lip Balm. Just put it in the center. And this is it. This is all we are working with today. I guess to set it, I'll use the Hydro Grip. And then this is it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Oh, wow. That was about 15, 16 minutes of my day. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.